Hi, and welcome to the show. Again, we thank God that you can view the show, whether it's in your kitchen, bedroom, living room, den, whatever area in your home that you can watch the show. We're excited to bring you information that's taking place uh, in the city, yeah, locally, nationally, even internationally. Uh, again, we always uh, thank God for the volunteers that uh, help uh, the city and, and the churches and the members uh, uh, of our churches to get back in their homes, and some are not still there. I always say uh, to those that are visiting the city, if you get an opportunity to go to the Lower Night Ward and see the devastation, but see the real building that is taking place. Um, uh, again, we're, we're in the recovery mode, so we thank God that the Lord is still uh, uh, waving his hand and touching and moving on the hearts of, of, of individuals to come back and rebuild the city. And I can tell you the city is being rebuilt in a different way, uh, uh, with a different uh, attitude, and the atmosphere is changing. Uh, again, we, we thank God for uh, our, our co-host, the Reverend Daryl Smith. I'm here. Uh, he's here, uh, <laughs> also known as uh, uh, D.K. Smith, 9.40 a.m. on your radio dial. Take you home in style. With a smile. With a smile. That's the PM pastor. It, yeah, it, and the good thing about that is, I always say that he has his finger on the pulse of what's taking place in the city, and he gives us the information. And he don't know uh, the, the great job that he did uh, uh, after uh, Hurricane Katrina doing to that period when people were uh, coming back home. Just hearing that information impacted people's life to know what was open, uh, where you could get assistance, and, and he did that. Uh, and uh, I think he stayed for one of the hurricanes, uh, Gustav. Gustav yeah. When everybody evacuated, uh, 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 Pastor Smith was still here looking at the raging water. Yeah. So, so, so tell us what's going on. Any, well, any new information? I want to, first of all, thank God for those who missed me during my absence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was away a couple of times and everything. Uh, in fact, it seemed like a whole season away. You, you were gone. That, yeah, I was gone for a little bit, yeah. a couple of weeks, but now it's a new season. Summer is here. Okay. And I just wanted to make sure that people know it's summertime. And of course, with summertime, we know that the hurricane season started in we June. In June, we this mentioned month. that. We mentioned that. And also, just the fact that um, be prepared, have a plan. That's what we want everybody to do. Um, preparation is the key. Be prepared, have a plan, and just make sure if anything happens, you don't want to get caught off guard or anything like that. I, I, st I still recommend that if, if you have a half a tank of gas, fill it up. Fill it up while you can, because you never know when you have to leave or go or do whatever. So you're saying people that's driving around in a half a tank of gas right now, they need to fill it up? Yeah, prices are good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prices you, are good. Why don't you introduce our guest? All right. Well, we have some guests that um, that are no strangers, but we want to reintroduce them. Uh, we thank God for our sister Sandra Metz of the First Pilgrims Baptist Church, and I like to call my co-worker Coco because she is the co-host of this show when I'm not here. Uh, that's Donetta Mahaffey, and she'll be talking about the National Urban League. But um, Sandra, wants we want to know what's going on at First Pilgrims because we understand something near and dear to my heart. It's a four-letter word, and I think it's talk about food. Ah, that's, your, that's the four. I thought well, you were, the other one is free. But. I wonder. <laughs> I didn't say nothing about the free. Oh, yes, at First Pilgrims. Uh, again, thanks for inviting me to come on the show. We take this as an honor and a pleasure and a privilege to be allowed to come. But we're here um, to talk about some of the events that are going on at the First Pilgrims Baptist Church. And uh, we are the busy church. We are the church certainly where the Holy Ghost has its way. Our pastor is Dr. Eugenia Mitchell. And uh, we're located in Bywater area, for those who may not know, at 1228 Art Street in the Bywater area of our city uh, between Murray and Urquhart, uh, kind of our bounding uh, streets. So we're right there in the uh, community, and uh, we're impacting the community in great ways. And one of the ways we're going to impact the community is this coming week, this Saturday, we'll be uh, hosting, it's actually our second annual community uh, crawfish boil and food fest. Yeah. And I tell you, it's going to be an awesome time. There'll be uh, lots of things going on. We have for our kids, we have a kids zone area, mm -hmm. and at that area we'll be uh, serving things things like snowballs and popcorn balls, all things kids like, like to eat, uh, nachos and cheese and hot dogs. Uh, we even uh, have some pony rides for the little ones. We'll have a, a train ride that we'll uh, be, we'll be uh, having for the kids. Also along with that, we uh, this year 
uh, we decided to make some enhancements as this will be an annual event every year. Mm -hmm. And that being said, each year we want to make it bigger and better. So this year we've added a couple of components and one of the components we've added is uh, as a mimic to the Jazz Fest's gospel tent, we're having the Hallelujah tent. Uh, praise oh, under the big top. Yeah, yeah. So uh, our music ministry, of course, since it is our house, will be hosting and then followed by uh, just groups and choirs and great soloists and uh, uh, musicians from all over the city are going to come uh, during the space of the time of the event, which is 11 a.m. to 4. Gates open at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And uh, you'll be able to come in, you'll be able to sit under the big top and just get your praise on and uh, enjoy the fun and fellowship uh, of one another. Uh, great, tremendous food. Uh, we'll have food stations available. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the stations I know is a soul food station, and of course, as we know, staples in New Orleans for us folks here in New Orleans are things like gumbo and jambalaya. Uh, we'll have an international station you, you, that's going to have. Didn't, uh, you didn't mention red beans and rice. Oh, uh, well, that's I just didn't mention it, but it's going to be it's going to be <laughs> under that. Uh, <laughs> under, so, under but that, it's soul uh, food. It's New Orleans <laughs> soul food station, uh, uh, which is a staple in this city. Yeah. Red beans uh, and rice and uh, sausage. Also, uh, we'll have an Italian station. Uh, that will feature meatballs and spaghetti, chicken pasta, and Caesar salad. Uh, we, do, uh, we added, this was an enhancement this year, we added a barbecue station. So that's going to be, there'll be grilling barbecue <laughs> chicken. And uh, we have uh, also an international station. So we tried to uh, go out of the realm of uh, our culture and do a little Asian stuff. We're going to have some uh, Southwest uh, egg rolls and some shrimp fried rice. And then uh, we did not forget, of course, our main part of the event is our crawfish. We'll be having ball crawfish, ball shrimp that will be accompanied by potatoes and corn. And I'm telling you, it's just going to be an awesome event. So you get a chance to eat some great food. You get a chance for your kids. It's a family, actually a family uh, event. And where it's you this can, Saturday. It's this coming Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Gates will You're open at 11. You're making already. I, mean, <laughs> I, I know every time we would. Wait, wait, wait. Let me mm -hmm. justify this by saying, yes, you're making me hungry. But, <laughs> but I do want to emphasize one thing, that if anybody needs any more information, uh, why don't you give a contact number? So okay, for more information, you can uh, give the church a call at uh, area 504-944-0504. Area, again, I'll repeat that number, area 504-944-0504. And you can ask for anyone in the office. We'll give you further information and further details about the event. But it's just going to be a Holy Ghost party. Mm -hmm. And uh, along with just fun, food, great food, and great fellowship. Uh, for the community because it is a, a community event. So we're looking forward to it. We're gearing up. Uh, we're excited. We're put in, putting the fine, final touches on mm -hmm. on uh, the planning uh, stages of it. So we're excited. Mm -hmm. We're excited. There'll be tents set up. So uh, we want to make sure that the community knows there'll be tents set up so that you won't be have to uh, have to be in the heated, heated elements. You can mm -hmm. sit under the tent if you want to. You also can go into our school or foyer area. You can sit mm -hmm. down in the air condition uh, and just enjoy. So we'll have, uh, we're trying to just make sure that we cover all bases. Uh, uh, not only great food, but also, you know, great singing, uh, great ministry. Um, and along with, again, as uh, often I think about uh, Martin Lawrence on the TV mm -hmm. show where he always said, Martin loved the kids, but well, yeah. first Pilgrim loved the kids. Yes. So we didn't leave the kids out. <laughs> Got a kid it's not just an adult event. Kid, we have a kid, kid zone. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. we'll be, um, they'll be able to ride the pony. We have a pony that's going to be there um, that the kids can take pictures on the pony. Mm -hmm. And also we'll have a little train ride that will be um, nice. going in there. I want to get to Danetta right now, but I want to get back to that because mm -hmm. I... I remember an occasion where we, we did the pony rides at, at, at a church group that, that yeah. I was working with, uh -huh. and I just had, I was fortunate to have my, my uh, VHS camera, yeah. and um, Wiley took the ride, we gave him the, the VHS so they can watch oh, it. Oh, yeah, that's a project. Nice. Oh, that, that was awesome. Yeah, yes. that, was great. Long ago that, was. that was a long time ago <laughs> when you had VHS. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, I know you want to introduce her to another, but I want to say something about what she's going to say. When she says it, if you don't mind. <laughs> wow. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Okay. No, the only reason Go why right I was going to say that is because 
And this has a segue considering the VHS and everything. It's been a long time. I want to say that Donetta is going to be talking about the National Urban League. Yes. And it's been a long time since they've been here, if any. So yes. could you share with us the importance of the fact that the National Urban League is coming to the city of New Orleans? Wow. Yes, this is so exciting. The National Urban League is coming to New Orleans. As you know, we have our own local Urban League New Orleans. and. Uh, Mr. Uh, Roland Nolan is doing a wonderful job with New Orleans, and uh, the CEO and president of the National Urban League is Mark Morial, a former, former mayor. mayor. Right. Yes. Right. With lots of dignitaries, there are so many people coming and job opportunities and career opportunities. I'm awesome. so yes, there it is. I'm so excited, and um, we want to make certain that all of New Orleans not just the residents that live in the inner city area, but outside the New Orleans parishes. market, outside parishes, okay. people from other mm -hmm. states. Call your family, call your friends, tell them National Urban League is in New Orleans. You know how it's always been said, if you can't come to New Orleans and be able to make it, you can't make it anywhere in the world. <laughs> they say that about <laughs> New York, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I don't know about New York. <laughs> yeah. But um, and before saying any more about the National Urban League, and I'm extremely excited about that, I just want to um, also encourage everyone to please support First Pilgrim. Mm -hmm. Pastor DK and I work along with Sister Sandra and yes. Pastor Mitchell and the First Pilgrim Baptist Church on a regular basis. They, they're heard. Pastor Mitchell is heard every weekday, Monday through Friday at 12 o'clock noon mm -hmm. on AM 940. That's right. So all of you who've been looking forward to meeting him and, you know, shaking his hand and telling him he's doing a wonderful job, now is the time to get over get there and enjoy it meet all. Meet him in person. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Now, we're going to have an opportunity to meet, well, I'm, I'm, see, I'm just excited about what you so much to think. <laughs> Because I, I do have a hint to say that we have some dignitaries coming in oh, town. Oh, yes, okay. yes. You do? Yes. You know the dignitaries? Oh, yeah. Lots uh, of confirmed I mean, guests. Confirmed it's, I'm so excited about the right. National Urban League coming and the opportunities that are being uh, introduced, the educational opportunities, you know, awesome. career. So, it's just amazing. So you, can you mention those names on, on, on TV or you got to wait later? Can you do that t today? No, actually, it's public information. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, 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 look, hold, hold that. that. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to go to break. And sure. we, we want to be excited about the information y'all have so we can be excited about it. Okay. <laughs> we're going to go to break and we'll come back. We're going to talk uh, more with Danette and Sandra and uh, uh, Pastor Smith. Uh, they have some information that's going to overwhelm you. Stay tuned. Poor nutrition today will increase Sarah's chances of anemia, add to her health care costs, sick days, even stunt her ability to learn. And the thing is, Sarah's not even born yet. Get proper nutrition before it's too late. Call or visit WIC. WIC provides nutrition information, health care referrals, even food. Your child has you, and you have WIC. Mrs. Johnson, good to see you again. Uh, this is Mike. You can trust him. He looks just like you. Plus, two against one is more intimidating when we force someone to sign a loan. And I'll be sucking up to you in order to keep up the illusion. So, here are your low monthly payments and interest rate, as we promised. Here's where they triple. The rest of this stuff, don't think a lawyer can read this. It protects us. Make sure we get your home when you can't pay us back. Such a lovely house. Yeah. But don't worry. We're going to sell you credit life insurance. You don't really need it, but it puts lots of cash in our pockets. You look nervous. We better hurry and get you to sign. Or I'll pretend to ruin your credit with one phone call. Predatory lenders are never this easy to spot. Call us and protect yourself with the facts. 